All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming on this afternoon. <clears throat> Let me get the right share going here and we'll get this show on the road. Um, that's still not it. You can't steal my screen, can you? I'm not sure what's going on. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Ron Leonard, President, U.S. Corps. I uh, want to say thank you to our amazing uh, founder of BNI, none other than the man, uh, the myth, the most networked man on the planet, Dr. Ivan Meisner. Hey, Ron, are you having a hard time showing your PowerPoint? I could. Uh, I, 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 I think I have. It. I think I have your PowerPoint. I could. If you have it, you want to show it. For some reason, it, it wouldn't show. Let me see if I can open it up. Yeah, there you go. He's my partner in crime, right? I appreciate him so much. Uh, and thank you to Dana, his uh, uh, executive assistant joining us. Thank you. And uh, of course, Thesha, the operations manager who did an amazing job at U.S. Conference. Thank you so much for franchise. Look at you. Thank you, sir. And yep, that's it. Good job, sir. Uh, and then um, Don, see, I do see both Dons on there. And thanks for joining Dons and Don Garcia. Thank you for all your help at the U.S. Conference handing out those awards, which was a lot of fun. So thanks for joining everybody. Um, this is our um, almost uh, next Monday is going to be our last Monday of doing these calls at 11 and 5 uh, Eastern time. I want to say thank you very much, Dr. Meisner, for uh, he's really been the motivation and the push to do these and really, really get the word out there this year about member extravaganza. And it's our anticipation. And you're going to see some results here in a few minutes. Uh, that this is um, going to be, fingers crossed, the biggest and best member extravaganza we've ever had in the history of BNI. And we're coming up on 40 years of history. And so uh, please encourage your members, your chapters to come in next week. Uh, we're going to reveal and celebrate a lot of winners uh, who have already qualified in a lot of chapters. When I say a lot, I mean a lot of chapters who are right on the brink of qualifying and I suspect by next Monday, we're going to have even more. And so thank you very much for everybody jumping on here. Let everybody know tomorrow, uh, next Monday is going to be our last Monday doing this. Uh, and we will have an updated slide. I hope, I hope we will for April uh, before next week. But that's still a big number, right, Dr. Meisner? I mean, $2.07 billion. And thank you for closed business. And that's in one month. In one month. Yeah. Amazing. A lot of money it in is one month mind-bending to me it is i mean when you think about a billion dollars i mean that's a lot of money when you say the word million and billion together it doesn't really seem that different but it is considerably different and uh, to see how much business is being passed between our members in only one month around the world that's an astonishing number and so that's a testament to all you members that are passing business and growing your businesses and passing referrals. That's a lot of revenue that's being generated. That's a lot of, that's a lot of businesses growing. That's a lot of lives that are changing. <clears throat> and uh, that's a lot of communities that are being impacted. And so, so, so Ron, I, I love the, you, you said there's a big difference between millions and billions. And I love statistics like this. 1 million seconds is 12 days. 1 billion seconds is 32 years. Hold on, let's say it again. One million seconds is 12 days. 12 days, okay. Yeah. One billion seconds <laughs> is 32 years. Okay, if that does not put it in perspective, I don't know what does. That puts it in perspective for 12 sure. 12 days versus 32, 32 years. years. I bet we have people on this call that aren't even 32 years old. <laughs> we might. I know I have a pair of shoes that are close to 30 years old. Oh, I have a hamburger that's 12 days old. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that that definitely puts it in perspective, right? And yeah, you know, when you say the word million and billion, it just it doesn't sound that far apart, but that is very, very far apart. And so that's kind of that really does put it in perspective um <laughs> how much two billion dollars is in one month. That's incredible. And then the next slide you have there, sir, is our thank you for closed business over the last 12 months. <clears throat> and that's an even bigger number. And so how many. Yeah, how many? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that if you put that in a second, the same perspective, twenty-three million versus twenty-three billion. That's a that's that's a big change as well. That's a lot of money, right? That's a lot of money. I know, guys. Uh, you know, I built a health insurance business using BNI in Miami, and uh, it was life changing. I mean, BNI is sometimes it's even zip code changing to what it's doing for people's businesses and. 
We've talked a lot over the past few weeks. Dr. Meisner has talked a lot about different podcasts and how to invite and who to invite and why to invite. And we've talked a lot about uh, the double triple effect. When you double your chapter size, it triples the amount of referrals coming into the chapter for each member. And it doesn't happen overnight, right, sir? I mean, it takes time. Um, but how many members on this call right now you wouldn't love to triple the amount of referrals that you're receiving for your business? I can't imagine anybody who wouldn't put their hand high in the air. And, and that's what we're talking about with Member Extravaganza. We're trying to help the chapters and reward the chapters and the members uh, to grow your referral partners. And um, BNI is the greatest business growth strategy on planet Earth, bar none. Um, I've heard a quote, and I love using this quote, that if you want a bigger net worth in life, net worth, right, W-O-R-T-H, all you need is a bigger network, W-O-R-K. And there's no organization on the planet that gives people access to 325,000 people who share the exact same core values as we do. They all want to give you business. They just have to know you, like you, and trust you. And then you can pass business with all these people around the world. And so it's uh, it's amazing. I, I'm, I don't know what April's number is. I haven't seen it yet, but I imagine, have you seen April yet, Dr. Meisner? I haven't either. And so hopefully we'll see that here pretty soon. And I'm sure it's going to be, they're probably, it's probably going to take a long time to count up <laughs> all those billions of dollars that's being generated between members. And so I look forward to uh, to seeing that number. All right, next slide, sir, since you're orchestrating this, I appreciate it. Looking back last year, anybody on this call, that, did anybody on this call go on the cruise last year with Dr. Meisner? I know you did. Dana, you did. <laughs> anybody else? I've never been on this cruise. Um I was a member last year and I personally sponsored like 11 people last year during member extravaganza and I didn't get picked. And so we had somebody from Miami get picked, which was amazing. And uh, her name's Jahara Morel. We actually had her on the first edition of these calls. And she said it was just, and just an amazing experience. And she has so many great memories from it and got to spend so much time with you. If you go to the next slide, I think she's sitting, she's standing right next to you um, on your left, our right. And uh, she's in Miami and she was super excited about it. And her husband got to come and she was just, she said it was a mind blowing experience. And a lot of the members that, that went on this trip, these are everybody from last year, you know, they have created a WhatsApp group and they communicate regularly and they're actually passing business um, together as well. So not only can you win the trip and go on a cruise with, with Dr. Meisner in October, um, you're going to get to meet a lot of other great BNI members that you can uh, build relationships with and do business with. Um, I mean, you must have enjoyed all these pictures. I know you get your picture taken a lot, sir. And so I imagine you love spending time with all these members, right? I, I really enjoyed this cruise and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. Yeah, because most of you probably don't know, you know, Dr. Meisner, he's not a huge fan of cruises, but what he does... What he does love, what he is a huge fan yeah. of is what, sir? Yeah, absolutely &I. true. Yep, BNI members. He loves BNI members. And I think he even was quoted say he'd even go on a camel ride with BNI members if that's what it took. Um, he didn't really say that. But anyways, the point is. Hey, I've been on an elephant ride with uh, BNI members. Okay, well, there you go. That'd be kind of fun. How many members can you get on one elephant? Is it just one per? Or? Yeah, pretty much one per. <laughs> the point is. The man will go to, he'll do anything if it involves BNI members any, anywhere in the world. And he wants to really bring value to members all over the world. And uh, I know I'm super grateful for this man and, and everybody else is too, and what he's created. And so member extravaganza, our annual membership drive in the U.S. to uh, really help grow chapters and grow your network and grow your revenue, grow your referrals. And uh, this year, it's never, ever been easier to qualify for member extravaganza uh, than this year since 1980 what six was the first one or 85 86 right 86 i think was the first membership drive 87 for sure yeah and it wasn't a cruise back then right what was it well um actually so, the cruises came pretty things. the cruises came pretty early they were cruises out of la because most of bni was on the west coast uh one of the very very first Things was a murder mystery weekend in San Diego. Um, and, and that was my first date with my late wife, Elizabeth. Uh, I took her, 
I took her to the San Diego um, membership drive. Oh, that's okay. That's kind of cool. I, I didn't, I didn't realize that. So yeah. it was a, it was a murder mystery weekend. Yeah. And BNI members could, you know, hang out in San Diego, but at all of the dinner, uh, we would get together for dinner every night and at dinner they would do this murder mystery thing that lasted two and a half days, three days. It was, it was a lot of fun. And, and I really connected with, with Elizabeth. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. What, what an amazing way to have a first date. So it was like Mrs. Peacock in a library with a rope kind of thing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I don't remember who won. I don't even remember if I uh, figured out who the murderer was. I was Twitter pated. Yeah, that's funny. Did I get, was it Mrs. Peacock or Mr. Peacock? It was Mrs. Peacock, wasn't it? Yeah, Mrs. Anyway, Peacock. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I remember that game clue. I'm dating myself, right? But anyways, uh, it's a great time. And go, go to the next slide there, sir. And, um, and that must have been 88, uh, the, 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 the murder mystery weekend. Yeah, but the cruises I, I, are more fun for members because there's a lot of activities. Yeah, there's lots to do and lots of time to spend. So tell us what's going on in these pictures. Looks like the top left one there. That looks super casual and super fun. Well, I'm I'm believe on that one. I'm walking around to the table. So each night I ask everyone to sit, um, different people to sit at my table, so I can have dinner with you know different groups of people. But then I walk around and say hi to everybody almost every evening. And so um, that's what the left is. The right, I'm doing a presentation uh, to the group, and left corner, left bottom, I'm doing a presentation. Right bottom is, I think, the evening mixer the first night we got there, I believe. And that's the mixer that was right next to the shh, quiet library, which was crazy because they were a loud group. It's a V and I group. What do you expect? Yeah, you got to be kind of loud and yeah. make a lot of noise and get all excited, right, about making money. Yeah, and you can I'm see, look, like, I, you know, I wear a sport coat for the presentation, but I'm I'm casual around the ship, so. Yeah, that's good. And there's lots to do in a ship and. Uh, lots of relationships to build and a lot of fun too, right? It's work, yeah. it's fun, it's productive, and it's a great time. And I know you love spending time with members. And go, go to the next one for me, sir. Yep. I love it. Uh, <laughs> this I love this picture. Anyways, and so let's talk about the top right one again. That's that's the boat last year. Then the bottom right one, I think you just walked into a, a bar, sat down for a, a glass of wine or something. And then yeah, met the yeah I sat down for a glass of wine and people started, you know, walking by and saying, Hey, can we join you? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And I think it got twice that size before I imagine it, did. it broke up. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great time. Now the picture but, on the left. Yeah. That's the one you really want to know about, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's kind of funny. Right. So what, what, tell us about that picture. So somebody left their purse, their pocketbook on the couch. I don't know if they just stepped away for a minute or what, but I noticed it. And I, <laughs> I put it on and said, Hey, does, does this go with my shirt? And <laughs> It got a big laugh. And yeah, it did. Uh, I don't usually wear purses, but no, not you. I've never seen either one, but that, that's no. what we love about you, right? You're just extremely personable, down to earth, and, you know, work hard, play hard, right? Yeah, absolutely. You got to, you, you got to play hard as well as work hard. It's that's right. the way you create a life of harmony, which I talk about in Who's in Your Room, uh, which is a great book, by the way. And I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but, you know, during the cruise, before the cruise, all the winners, you give them the opportunity to submit some requests for what they want to talk about. One might be talking about your book, um, you know. Um, yeah, look, I'll give two or three choices to, to all the winners and they get to pick whatever my presentation is. They'll probably be who's in your room, networking for success, um, the third paradigm, or just sure. ask the founder, one of those four. And what did Dana I say? See, I see Dana taking notes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so those are the four, Dana. Yeah, did I say personable? <laughs> That's funny. P pun intended. Uh, anyways, yeah, it's a good time. And then uh, I, I even heard there's rumors of a, of a a party and Ivan Sweet. Yeah, that's the that's the goal. Um, you know, you never know until you get there as to whether something like that works out. But yeah, I I have done it many times in the past where we do a little a little gathering in my suite. Yeah, and this year it's going to be standing room only. And so I hope so. I yes, hope so. Yeah, we I need do. 125 winners to break or match. We had about 125 one time, All uh, right. which was 250 people. So yeah, that's a lot of people because it's their plus one, right? So 125. That's the goal for winners this year. You can go to the next slide, sir. 
And we're, we've got we've got some chapters and some members who have already qualified. And so um, we're going to have updated results next Monday. And so next Monday is the last day we're doing this. And we're going to have uh, a much, much more updated um, list of winners and who have already qualified and a lot of chapters who are very close to qualifying. So you can look on this list. Uh, these are 29 chapters. And uh, those 29 chapters are in 20 regions who have already qualified. They've sponsored three or more into their chapter. And so uh, this year, we're going to award at least one winner from each region. Uh, last year, we had 21 winners from all the U.S. That's franchise and company-owned regions as well. And we've already got 20 regions that have qualified. And out of those 20 regions, we've got 29 chapters. And you can look at this list. I see a lot of uh, the great state of Utah, where I used to live for many years. I love Utah. A lot of Utah on there, a lot of Florida on there, Arkansas, Alabama, a lot of California on there, Ohio, South Carolina, the great state of Texas, where our U.S. conference and Canada conference will be next year, by the way. And so it's great to see, uh, great to see chapters and regions getting involved. Go to the next slide, sir. And then we've got a lot of chapters and regions who are almost there. The next three slides are all the chapters and regions that have two already, and all they need is one more. If you guys remember from last year, you had, the qualification was six. You had to have six sponsored in your chapter to remember extravaganza to qualify. This year, we made it even easier to qualify because we want more and more people to go. It's never, ever been easier in the history of BNI to uh, to qualify for member shop again than it is this year. And so we have a lot of chapters, a lot of regions that are right on the cusp. Thank you, sir. Here's another 31 chapters, 23 more regions that uh, that have qualified. And there's even another slide of more regions and more chapters that are right there on the edge of uh, getting to three. And so uh, there on the bottom left, you can see we have 123 chapters in 86 unique regions that are at two or more. And so it stands to reason that um, I'm pushing, I know Lisa, who she's on vacation, or she'd be joining us today. Uh, we're pushing to have 126 winners this year. Uh, we need one more to break that record. And so we're going to work hard to do it, but we need your help. And so if you're in these chapters and you're in these regions, we want to make sure the chapters know, hey, listen, you only need one more. And there's plenty of time left on the game clock, right? Today's the 13th of May. We've got, what, two and a half more weeks left in May? That should be easy peasy to get one more. And I want to make sure that we uh, we fill up that suite of Ivans for that party at, at Ivans. That'll be a good time. I can't wait to see the pictures. And party so, at Ivans House. Yeah, what's that? At Ivans Party House? at Ivans House. Yeah, let's go. In Austin? <laughs> uh, no, not this time. Mean, party <laughs> in Ivans Suite. How's that? Yeah, party in Ivans Suite. Yeah, in Austin, even better. And so uh, go to the next slide, sir. And you'll see here, the, I wanted to show, these are the top regions in the whole U.S. Uh, that have sponsored at least 10 in their regions um, since Member Extravaganza started on October 1st. Look at Tampa Bay, 36. That's amazing. Uh, South Carolina Midlands, down uh, not too far from here from Charlotte. Utah, Utah South, Utah North, South Carolina, Florida, Houston, Arizona, California. We've got a good mix of the whole country. Minnesota, Ohio, Tennessee, and Dallas. <clears throat> these are all, all these regions are sponsored at least 10 into their region to remember extravaganza. It's amazing. And next week, there's going to be a lot more. Um, the cruise. Anybody here been on Allure of the Seas? Anybody? Um, I've personally been on it a few times. And let me tell you, it's one of Royal Caribbean's biggest ships. Uh, the icon of the seas is out now, and that thing is like just insane. Uh, these Oasis class ships, they're amazing. Um, there's just about anything you can think you can imagine on these ships from getting massages to playing full court basketball to two wave riders to ice skating shows and diving shows and central park. And they even have, they even have a carousel. They have a carousel on this ship and, uh, pretty much anything you can imagine is on this ship. Lots of amazing food and specialty dining and shows and, um, a lot of great time just hanging by the pool with Ivan. And so it's going to be a great time. Uh, three three day uh, three nights four days on uh, the Lord of the Seas with Ivan and it's going to be a great great time. Next slide shows you the dates. Uh, it's going to be the fourth through the seventh of October, and again, uh, never been easier 
And we've actually uh, made a change this year so that members can qualify on their own. And so if you're a member in a chapter, your chapter doesn't qualify, you as a member can qualify. All you got to do is sponsor three members anywhere in your region. Doesn't have to be your chapter. It can be anywhere in the region and you qualify. And if you do qualify as a member, you're going to get three of your name put in that hat. And we will be choosing at least one winner from every single region. How many regions do we have in the U.S.? Does anybody know? Anybody? Any guesses? I'll just tell you. 185. Very good. Good, good, good guess, Dana. 185 regions of being out in the U.S. And wouldn't it be amazing <laughs> to have one winner from every region? So that's why I think we can do 126 and we have 185 regions of being out in the U.S. And so we're going to do at least one winner from each region. And in the next slide, um, have you been to the Bahamas, uh, Dr. Meisner? Yeah, you've been there. Many times, many times. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite part of it? <laughs> well, I spent some time in uh, Jamaica in one of those um, over-the-water cabanas that was Ooh. probably my favorite trip. It was uh, an anniversary. Oh, that's and, cool. Uh, I barely left. It, it, it was actually one of those things that, like you see here, except it was a, yeah. it, that looks like uh, cabana, yeah, they, cabanas. I don't know. If they, have, they have them there at Coco Cay. They actually just built them like in the past few years and they're cool. They're over Yeah, the well, mine was, mine was actually a hotel room over the water, which was uh, even better. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'll let you spend the night in these things. I think no. they, they make you get back on the ship. Although it wouldn't be that bad is to stay there and have the ship leave. That'd be terrible. <laughs> But I think on this island, this is Coco Cay. It's a uh, real Caribbean's private island. And they even have all kinds of excursions you can do from riding jet skis. They even have something where you actually, this is true, you can swim with pigs. True story. On their island of Coco Cay. It's amazing. It's a beautiful, I've been there. It's a beautiful island. They got an amazing water park that's spectacular if you want to do that. It's a lot of fun. And there's lots and lots to do. Not to mention you get to do it with uh dr meisner the founder of bni and it'll just be an amazing you're not going to be swimming with pigs with me just so you know no, really no, that's not going <laughs> to okay so you're not going to swim with pigs no. you go on the tallest water slide in north america with me um and so you will sit in a cabana though relax by the pool that's you possible know, yeah have a couple of yummy beverages <laughs> eat some food and <laughs> food fun and fellowship right yes so especially be the fellowship yeah Yes, sir. Yeah, it'll be a good time. So looking forward to it. And um, if anybody has any, was there any, I don't know if there's any questions in the chat. Uh, but if anybody has any questions for Dr. Meisner or about the trip or about the contest, uh, feel free to just raise your hand, speak up. Um, otherwise, Dana well, has a question. Dana. Dana's got a question. Dana. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah you always have the answers. So I'm surprised. <laughs> you have a question. Well, can we just have a quick conversation about how would someone sponsor? What is sponsorship? And then how can they learn more about it? Um, some quick recommendations and tips from Dr. Meiser and Ron. Boom. Take it away, sir. Uh, absolutely. You know what podcast I'm going to recommend. Oh, yeah. Um, and I'm looking for it now. Uh, do you know offhand what it is? Uh, if you'll give yeah, me a moment, well. I'll have it. I, I should have it here as well. Any moment. Um, I've heard you it, mention it so many times. 659 rings a bell. Yeah, 659. So here's the thing with 659. The title is Inviting Visitors is Easy Online. However, if you scroll down, you'll see there's like a six or eight additional podcasts that I recommend. Uh, and that's why 659 is so good because it lists all of these. I'm probably going to do another podcast that's just an inviting visitors summary, inviting visitors podcast, and I'll list all of these again plus a couple of others that have come out since then. My favorite is number 541, inviting visitors, which is the interviewing technique. Uh, you know, I'm in a referral group. Uh, we get together on a regular basis. We're interviewing people in your profession to find someone we can give all of our referrals to. That's probably my favorite. It's the version that I used when I was inviting people um, it, when I started BNI many, many years ago when I didn't have white hair. I used, And I used to have hair. <laughs> uh anyways yeah inviting visitors yeah that that's the name of the game right and um 
Yeah, 659 just stuck out in my head. And 659 is really the mother load because it, it's like you said, you scroll down and it gives it you is, and, it, and it's really easy. And look, you know, it takes bits and pieces out of these, use what you want. But the key is to just invite someone. But and, and I think there's one other key. Don't give them too much information. True. We 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 just kind of you know unload on potential visitors. Oh, and then there's this, and yeah, well, okay, yeah, I know it's no. every week. I know that's a big day. And it's you know no, at, oh dark yeah. 30 in the morning, and don't say any of that. Keep it just, simple. Come to come to this one meeting, bring a lot of business cards. Let's see if there's a good fit. That's the thing. You want to get them there and then you want to run a great meeting. Oh, and that's the key, isn't it? That's the key. That's the key. The president's got to wow them, right? With the meeting. Yeah. They got to put on a show. And yeah. uh, uh, for me, you know, as a business owner myself, I, I know what business people are spending to market their businesses. They're spending a yeah. lot of money and they're not getting the ROI they can. And so for me, I take it very seriously. I'm extremely passionate about it. And I, I feel it's my it's my duty to my fellow man, entrepreneurs, business people, that they need to know about BNI. Many they people, do. they've never heard of it. And yeah, so a lot haven't. And and Don makes a good point here in the chat. Um, invite people. It's all about interest in them and how you can help them, which is what you're basically saying, Ron. 100%. Yeah, thank you, Don. Yeah, you're spot on. Uh, my method of inviting, and uh, when I was a member, uh, I, I think, I don't know, I sponsored 30, 40 people in one year. And the way I invited people is super simple. I'd say, hey, hey, hey Ivan, um, I have breakfast every Wednesday morning at seven o'clock with a group of professionals. And we talk about growing each other's business and we help each other make money. Does that sound interesting to you about making yes. money and having breakfast? And of course, they say, yes. Yeah. I say, great. Come seven o'clock bring lots of business cards, dress sharp, put on a tie. I'm going to introduce you to everybody. And we're looking for somebody in your profession to refer business to. Are you looking to grow your business? Can you handle more business? You can? Good. I'll see you Wednesday. It's super simple. Keep it short. Keep it sweet. Yeah. It keep it short and sweet. Yeah. I, I had one member and I don't know if I've ever done a podcast on it. I think I have. Um, I have one member that used to say, he told his assistant, put every cold call through. Now, this, these were the days where people would be cold calling all the time. Um, he said, put every cold call through. And she said, really? He said, yeah. And he would tell people, all right, I'll meet with you to talk about what you do. It's on Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. at I this restaurant. That. I'm doing a, I'm going to be there for a networking meeting. I'm happy to meet you. Bring plenty of business cards. <laughs> and he was the number one person in the chapter to get people to join. That's because brilliant. he took all the cold calls, which is crazy, but it that worked for him. It worked for him. Wow, that is so smart, right? Uh, you ever have people say, uh, "Well, seven o'clock's kind of early." Yeah, all the time. I, and the irony is, um, I hate early mornings. I'm a late night person. So the, the thing is, nobody's doing business uh, at seven a.m. Now, not all chapters meet at seven. Some meet at seven thirty. Some meet later. Some meet at lunch uh, in the United States. Not too many meet in the evening. Yeah, I know. Um, how many. Yeah, there's a couple, but not a lot. Um, so, uh, the, but the bottom line is, you're not going to miss any business. Right. You're going to be getting business at a time when you aren't getting business. You can get business. Hello. And that's why I did early morning meetings because none of my clients, when I was a management consultant, none of my clients wanted to meet at seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's super smart, right? I mean, you're really your day hasn't got started yet, so you got to have breakfast. Yeah. And What's wrong with making money and having breakfast at seven in the morning? <laughs> yeah, right. And for me, I'm a military person, right? So when people said seven is too early, I'm like, what? <laughs> Are you 10 years old? That means seven's not. Now four, that'd be a little early, but seven? Four's early. I don't know. It's not that bad, you know? Plus, I like to get it done. Get it out of the way. Boom. Get your day started off, right? And um, no better way to start your day off than networking. Be in a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. People that are giving you business and you're making money at seven in the morning. So, all right. That was good. That was a good question, Dana. Good all job. right, Ron, do we have anything <laughs> else? I don't think so. Anybody got any other questions? All right. Next here week will be our last week meeting. Invite your friends, invite um, uh, fellow members to come to the last meeting. Yeah, even if they're not your friends, invite everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they're in BNI. Invite yeah, them. that's true. Yeah. I don't want my ex-wife showing up. All right, guys. <laughs> I don't want to even go there. All yeah, right. Thanks a lot, Ron. Take care, guys. We'll Thank see you, you everyone. All right. Bye-bye.